The big thing that really drives me when I'm building guitars, I'm basically creating the tool for a storyteller or a performer. And the better I imbue that instrument with my creativity, the better that that performer's creativity is going to flow. I first got kind of interested in guitar building when I was about uh, 13 years old. My guitar teacher had a repair bench uh, right before you'd enter into the kind of lesson room. And so you'd have to wait there. And one day he just had a guitar all flayed out. All the pickups were out, the electronics were out. You know, there was a frets missing. Everything was kind of just, just discombobulated. So you naturally want to say like, is that what my guitar looks like? And you know, the lesson quickly changed to well, this is a pickup, this is a bridge, this is how a nut works, this is a scale length, this is, you know, this is how everything really, really works. And a lot of my guitar lessons quickly shifted into how to modify, repair, fix my, my guitar because I was playing in a few bands and yeah, you just, you had to fix your own gear. Buying gear, repairing it, fixing it, selling it. You kind of learn more about the history of the instrument, different styles, components. Eventually got a small apprenticeship with a local builder in Victoria and he showed me the ropes on how to really do it from scratch. He showed me how to take billets of raw wood, templates, and use just basic uh, woodworking tools, band saws, routers, chop saws, and uh, really the step-by-step -step process of how you put it all together and that's, that's really when I fell in love with it as an occupation. It's the most versatile instrument that can represent the unique personality of its player. Steinway pianos is, a, is a, an amazing instrument, but they all look the same. Uh, flutes, saxophones, they all kind of look the same, and, and they're all amazing instruments, but there's really no other type of instrument in the world that is so portable and culturally identifiable. You know, you can have one that's very pointy and shiny and sharp, and, and that's very indicative of that player's personality, and one that's, you know, soft and willowy and a bit more vintage, and that can reflect the player's personality. They're all guitars and they all represent the players and each one can be really uniquely designed for its own player, genre of music and aesthetic. And I think that's, that's unique in the musical instrument world. The learning process in guitar building, it's not a destination, it's an ongoing journey. The industry is constantly evolving because musicians are constantly trying to one-up their colleagues. So for someone trying to create the new sound in their head, the new band, the new gimmick, the technology needs to be changing rapidly. Oftentimes I'll harvest my own wood, so cut the tree down or salvage it from around the city or the islands, uh, let it cure for a number of years on site until it's ready to work, and then um, get unique, unique builds that you really can't find from really anywhere else in the world. The best way for me to create better music is to focus on my craft and my art and make sure that I can take a quality piece of wood, good components and the passion that I have for music and imbue that in a tool that is then passed on to a performer and give them the best tool that they can then perform their art. Yeah, so that's, that's where the passion comes in. That's kind of where my little stake in the music industry really, really takes hold. So we're, we're in the background a lot more. It's not so much in the spotlight, but that's, that's okay by me. <laughs>